All right, what is up guys? This is Ivan from BurningBest.com and in this tutorial today we're going to follow in the steps of the last one where we use the HMC 5883L a uh, little compass module and um, we're going to do a little project with it today. We're going to we're going to simulate an actual compass uh, and we're going to see the direction using this ring of LED RGB LEDs uh, WS2812 so there's 16 LEDs on this wheel and we're gonna write code for it that depending on which direction this guy is pointing to it will always point to north so we're gonna write the code to actually display the LEDs in the direction of north all the time so as we rotate this little box around the uh, LEDs are gonna indicate where magnetic north is now built a little fast box uh, to put all these components in and the way it works is that we have the ring of light, we have the little module is at the bottom here and we have our Uno, could use a Nano or even a maybe a Digi Spark would actually work with this it's very small and we're just powering it using uh, two uh, 18650 batteries so as you can see the connections are fairly easy the ring of light only needs one, uh, one digital pin and of course the uh, compass module uses uh, A2 and uh, A4 and A5 and then ground uh, this one uses 3.3 .3 volts and this guy is feeding off directly from the UNO 5 volts in the tutorial today we're going to use um, a library that was written to actually uh, read and calculate the heading uh, using the HMC module uh, inside that library we're going to use an example code that was written to actually help us calibrate the HMC module. When we run it, we'll look at the serial monitor and we'll rotate the box 360 degrees. So when we run that code, we'll take note of that offset values, those offset values, and we'll use that in our code to actually try to make the HMC more precise for us. Uh, also, what we're going to do, depending on where you are on the planet, uh, there's uh, different ma magnetic fields and stuff. So basically, we'll go to a website and we'll enter our location and that will give us uh, the degrees and uh, declination and all that stuff that we can use to actually put in our code also to tell uh, the little module where we are so that we take that into account when we calculate the heading and we'll get these uh, values and take note of them because we are going to use them in our main code then we're going to use the example code to calibrate the HMC module and get those offset values that also we can use in our code and uh, at the end we're going to use we're going to go see the final code that will control the LEDs depending on where magnetic north is so let's cut here let's go take a look at all that stuff and when we're done we'll come back and test it out right here so let's go take a look all right so the first thing we need to do we need to go to this uh, website right here uh, www.magnetic dash declination.com and here we're going to enter our location so for me it's Montreal and the country Canada search map and we choose the one that's more relevant most relevant and these are the numbers that we need we don't need all these we just need this one here magnetic declination it's minus 14 and 35 so we'll take note of those two numbers and the declination is negative could be positive so basically for us it's negative so go to this website enter your location here your country do a search and pick the one that's more uh, relevant and then make note of those two numbers minus 14 for us 35 and it's negative so now the next thing we're going to do we're going to load up the example to calibrate our little uh, module and that will give us offset numbers that we'll use in our main code so let's go take a look at that code and see what we need to do there. All right, so here's the uh, little example code that comes with the library. Uh, if you want to download the library, go to our website, burningbus.com, and find this tutorial. And at the bottom of the page, you'll find a link to download the whole uh, library. Now, when you have the library, just extract it to your Arduino slash library folder on your computer and inside the library there will be examples in there now the one we want to use today is called HMC 5883L dash calibrate uh, there's also another one called calibrate dash MPU 6050 
uh, but we're using this one today and I know this one works. So you just open that one and here's some information about uh, the person who wrote that library if you want to read up on it. So basically we're including the wire library and the, uh, the library for the compass. So all this information here, we're not going to touch anything here because this is already all correct. So we're going to go down to the end here. And as you see in our serial monitor when it's running, it's, it's serial printing all this stuff. Now we only need these last two values, off X and off Y. So to make stuff easier to read, what we're going to do, we're going to comment out these guys here because we don't really need that information for our example today. So actually, we're going to go all the way here. And if you want to comment a lot of lines in your Arduino IDE uh, software, you just go slash star and star slash. So anything in between these two things will be commented at. So when we run the program, we'll see these values. And those are the values we're going to take note of because we're going to use them to make our little compass module more precise in our main code. So we're going to compile and we're going to upload to the UNO and then we'll open the serial monitor and see those values. So let's do that now. All right, so here we have the code running. So I'm going to pick up the box and rotate it 360 degrees. So there we go. I'm rotating, rotating the box. And there we go. The rotation is done. So the values that we get are 41 right there and minus 196. So we're going to take note of those values and we're going to enter them in our main code to make our little module more precise. So let's go take a look at the main code where we'll enter those values. All right, so here we are in main code, finally. So we did the, uh, went to the website, got our um, values there for our magnetic declination. Then we ran the little um, uh, calibrate software. So we got those offset values. So now we're gonna see what's in the main code. So we're including the wire uh, library, fast LED to control our LED ring, and the compass module library. Now we're defining the number of LEDs. So we have 16 LEDs on our uh, ring of LEDs and which pin that uh, the ring is connected to. So it's connected to pin three, digital three. Then we're defining the actual array of LEDs. And here is a compass uh, library. Now here's an integer uh, fixed adding degrees. Uh, these little modules um, go from 0 degrees to 360 when you do a full rotation. The problem with that is, is that from 0 to about 240, it actually goes a little bit faster when you turn it, and then from 240 to 360, it slows down. So it's kind of hard to actually get a nice reading because it's not uh, doing it uh, at the same speed through the whole 360 degrees. So we're going to do some calculation to actually get a better reading by putting the value in here. Then we do our main setup. Uh, we have serial begin here because uh, when I was uh, playing around with the code, I wanted to see what those uh, values, like the fixed heading degrees values would be so I could use the serial monitor to see that while the code was running. So that's why that is there. We're not using it now, but you could leave it there and then serial print uh, some values to see what's actually happening inside your code through the serial monitor. Then we have var begin, the fast LED uh, definition here. And these four, five lines here were uh, from the library. So we're using some of those uh, values that was already in here. So all these are actually from the library itself. So we just imported that code from examples that was available in the library. So it sets the rain, the measurement mode, the data rate, the samples. So all this I didn't touch. It was already working fine. And here are the first values we're going to use. So our calibration offset that we got from the little uh, test software, that's where we're going to enter that. Compass dot set offset. So the first value we had was 41. So we're going to put that here and minus 196, 196. So these are uh, offset values. Now we're going to go down a little bit to our main loop. So all this stuff also comes from uh, the library. So we just imported some of this uh, code. Uh, 
Here we set our declination angle that we got from the website. So this, uh, the website we went to. And for Montreal, Quebec, our angle, declination angle was minus 14, 35 west, negative. So here is where we're going to input those values. So declination angle equal 14. We're dropping the minus from this one, so 14 only. And since we're negative, so we're going to do a negative here. If it was positive, then you would do a plus sign. And the 35 goes over here. So all these other values we don't touch. And this again, all this code here is for correcting some headings. That was in the library also. And here to, con to fix the rotation speed like we talked about at the beginning for the, of the compass module, we're actually doing a little bit of mapping to different values depending if it's smaller than 240 degrees or bigger or equal to 240. So these mapping will actually enable us to get a rotation speed that is uh, the same through the full range of rotation from 0 to 360. Now by doing this mapping, of course, we're going to go from 0 to 360 for a full rotation to a little bit less. So we're gonna, maybe we'll go, and I did test that with the uh, serial monitor by printing out the fixed heading degrees value to the serial monitor while I was rotating the uh, compass and I got from 0 to about 285 so that was my old range of rotation so we're going to use that 285 value to actually uh, light up our LEDs so here we say the head value is equal to fixed heading degrees which we got through this mapping portion here and we're dividing it by 18 now the 18 I got for uh, I got this number by a full rotation is equal to 285 like I said from 0 to 285 it does it 360 degrees but since we're fixing the rotation speed and all that so we only get to 285 before it goes back to 0 so a full rotation for now for us now is 285 and we're dividing by the number of LEDs that we're using so we're using 16 LEDs so 285 divided by 16 equals about, I think it's 17.85 or something like that, so I rounded it up, so 18. Then we do a mapping, so led to heading, we're mapping the head value, head value now is equal to fixed heading divided by 18, so that value should be from 0 to 15, but we need to map it in reverse so our lights will follow in the right direction. So there we go, we do 0 will be equal to 15, 15 will be equal to 0. And that's our lead to adding uh, value. Then we fast lead dot clear to make sure no LEDs are on. And then we're going to decide which LEDs should be on. So there's two ifs in here because if it's equal to 0, I want the 0 LED on my ring to be uh, green. And number 14 should be green and number 15 should be red so we'll have one red LED and side by on each side we'll have two green LEDs so the red LED indicates north now if it's equal to 15 then we do uh, the, the 0 is equal to red and 15 and 1 is green now for the rest of the values we can use the actual variable here so let, uh, let's say uh, it's equal to 5 so LED ring led to heading is 5, that will be red, and on each side, so basically I need to be green, green should be 4 and 6 on each side, so led to heading plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6 is equal to green, led to heading minus 1, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, that's green. And this is if 0, else if 15, and if it's not 0 or 15, then I can do this part here. And then we do the set brightness of the LED, and then we show them. And we do a delay, a little delay before we repeat this loop again. So, you know, the, it's not too complicated, but if you go, uh, the, the part about the library, I'm, I'm not dwelling into because it's kind of complicated. Uh, but if you want to get a better understanding, uh, go to the, um, check into the library documentation and you'll get more information on these values. What's important is your offset right here and then your declination angle depending on where you are so you put these here and the fixed heading uh, degrees uh, basically since we're, we want a full rotation that's more smooth 
uh, will maybe go from 360 to a little bit less, so you need to know that value. For us, it was 285. And we're dividing it by the number of LEDs. If you have more LEDs, then it could be another number here. So there you go. So we're going to compile that code and uh, send it to the EO now. And let's go back to the breadboard and see how it works. All right, so we're back. And we just uploaded the code that we were just looking at on the Uno that's inside the box right here. I just closed up the box and it's ready to go. Uh, now I know that here north is this way. So I aligned it this way so when we plug it in we should see these LEDs at the top light up indicating where magnetic north is. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we are. So it seems to be pointing in the right direction. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick it up and turn it around three, uh, 180 degrees. So basically these lights should always stay in this direction. So basically it should be these lights that light up. So let's try that, 180 degrees. And there we are. Let's do it again. Yeah, so they keep pointing north. So now I'm just gonna pick it up and start turning it. And as you can see, the LEDs are always fairly pointing in the same direction. Now, like I said, I'm inside right now. And you know it could be it could be a little bit off, but when you're outside, this is actually um, pretty precise. I was surprised actually. So there you go, and back to north again, and the other way around, a little bit less. There we go. Now I just want to show you guys something. I'm going to take uh, the screwdriver here, and I'm just going to wave it on top of it. You see that? So these things are very sensitive to metal. As you can see, let me put the a uh, little bit less bright so you can see it better. And there you go, you see? Just by moving this thing around on top of it, fairly, fairly far from it, it still, you know, makes it go freaky a little bit. So, you know, if you build one of these, try to uh, put this guy away from any met metallic object. And, but besides that, you know, it's a fun little thing to build and it works fairly well. And there you go. And back to north, a little bit less, there we go. So let me put the light back. So there you go guys, you know, a little fun project that uh, you, can, you can build to use one of these HMC 5883L compass module. And you know, we build a fairly simple box for it, but you guys could build something probably better than what I did. So there you go guys, that was tutorial for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget, if you want to be notified of new, uh, new videos that we post, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to build uh, stuff like this, you can come to our website, BurningBits.com, and we sell all those parts if you want to do your own experimenting. So once again, guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.